Hello, today we are going to diagnose a salt system. Uh, the reported problem is it's not producing any chlorine. The pool has zero chlorine and they can't get it to produce chlorine. So I'm going to go over there and show you how to diagnose it and ultimately solve the problem. The first thing you do when diagnosing a salt system, in this case the Hayward Aquarite, is you note where the chemicals should be for this thing to work right. Now the out chlorine output, the unit should be able to get it to between 1 and 3. If it's not reading anything, you check your pH, make sure that's right, your alkalinity stabilizer, calcium. But the most important one, and the really only one you need for diagnosing it, is get the salt level at the appropriate 2700 parts per million to 3400 parts per million. Any lower it's not going to work, any higher the unit will shut off and not work. So make sure the salt is at the appropriate ideal level before proceeding any further with the diagnosis. I know they've been adding chlorine manually to this pool since the salt system doesn't work and they say they've had to add a lot of water before they got a leak fix. So the salt's probably low. That 3200 reading is probably wrong. So the first thing we do is check the salt in the pool. There are many ways to check salt in the pool, in meters, and you can take it to the pool store. The best way I like doing is just some salt test strips like this product right here, AquaCheck. Okay, the top strip is black, and let's see what the salt reading on this pool is. It goes up to about 5, about 5.6. So let's compare that to the back of this thing. And we're looking at about, I'd say 5.8 actually. About 2,500, 2,600 salt, which is low. Okay, the next thing you do, I noticed that, wow, the LED lights were off, but now they're on. Which, now they're off. So there looks like there's a problem with the main board on this. Those lights should always be on. The power one's off right now, even though the unit's on. And I know from experience that's a problem with the main board. But so what we're going to do, we're going to remove this panel and take a look at it. Okay, the old board is out. Here is the old board with the minor board still attached to it. And here's the new one. So what I'm going to do is take these little plastic studs out of the old board and I'm going to remove the minor board and put it everything on the new board. Very easy. Just put it right where it goes. Okay, the new board's set into place. Now all I got to do is plug in the wires and they'll remind you that do not plug in the salt cell until you program it for the right cell out of the factory they're for the T15 but if you have a different cell you need to program the menu just for that cell before you plug it in so that's very important okay the new board is in and all the wires are connected and they come default set up for a T15 cell their salt cell over here which is what I have so I don't have to do any additional programming Again, if you do have a different cell, like a T9, uh, you would have to program this first before plugging in your salt cell. And that's easy to do. That's uh, something just to note. Okay, I got the panel on, I turned it on, and this is going through a normal cycle. I got my LED light on now, power, and in a, a few seconds that flow light will turn off my flow sensor is working which it is and the salt reading looks a little better than it did last time I was saying 3500 even though the pool is about 2600 so that's within a margin of error that's good so I'll give this thing a minute and see if it clicks over to generating and the flow switch goes off okay about a minute went by and power on now the other lights are on which is good I said about 60% output, salt reading looks about right, this thing is fixed.